Hello guys! Welcome back to Jess TV's channel and a blessed Sunday to all of us. So today, we are going to have a tutorial on how to download the printer properties and the user guide of the printer in your laptop using the internet connection. So, internet lang, meron ka ng printer properties at saka user guide in your laptop so that you could able to print the documents or the files that you are going to make in your laptop. So, this is very easy and convenient. So, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam ng tutorial na ito, don't forget to watch this video fully, share this video, and like, and of course, subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell para mas updated ka pa, mas lalo sa mga videos na aking ipipost educational man o maging tutorial. Kung inyong naalala, yung laptop meron siyang CD kung saan nilalagay yung CD installer ng printer. Ngayon ay gagamitin natin yung internet connection para tayo ay makakuha ng printer properties at saka guide or utilities of printer. So, um, this is very easy at saka napakadali lang siya gamitin. So, Ang mga laptop ngayon ay wala ng, ng CD room or CD in, nilalagyan ng CD para maka-install tayo ng printer. Kasi yung mga laptop ngayon parang nagle-level up or na-enhance sila. So, um, we are going to use the internet as our downloader to the printer that we are going to have in our laptops. Okay, so tutungan na tayo sa ating tutorial at ito ay hinihintay na ng lahat doon sa mga taong hindi pa nakakaalam, sa mga guro, sa mga sudyante, at kung sino pa dyan. So, without further ado, let's have this tutorial to commence. So, the first thing that we need to do is to know what is the brand of our printer and the code or the number of the printer before you search it in the Google Chrome or in any search engines that will do. So, yung printer ko is Epson and the number is L3110 or 3110 yung numero ng aking printer. So, yan ang isa-search natin sa Google Chrome. Ang tanong, paano siya isa-search or ano yung keyword when you are going to search it in the Google Chrome. So, uh, let's have it. Okay, so ayan. Na-open ko na yung laptop ko. Don't forget to refresh. Then, click this Google Chrome. Ayan. So that's the thing we are going to have. So, we are here now in the Google. So what are you going to type here? You are going to type there Epson L3110. So you need to click this term. Okay, then after that, you are going to click this first. This first, uh, the thing that you have searched. Okay, then after that, okay, so we are now here in Epson L3110, 3110. There. Okay, so have you seen the word download? Okay, so nakikita nyo ba yung drivers and utilities combo package installer? So that's the thing you are going to download. So just click this blue thing. Download. Okay, so nakita nyo na yung L3110 light underscore LA na sa baba siya ng utilities. Okay, just wait for it as it will finish downloading. Then click this arrow and click open. Okay, just wait for a while. Okay, there is a notification. There, Epson driver package setup. So you just click yes. Just click yes. And then, the file contains the installer to obtain everything you need to use. Just click OK. Okay, nag-load na siya. Then, 
let's wait for a while okay then select your language so of course we are English then click next and then we have here the license agreement below to continue so after you read all about this about the privacy policy and the license agreement you are going to click the accept okay so here are the items you want and click install so here are the features of the thing you are going to download which is the Epson 3110 so click install there you go connecting to server via the internet so let's just wait for a while wait for a while guys and friends it's connecting okay it will take few minutes okay so be patient upon waiting then after this you will have the printer that you wish to have in your laptop so that you could able to print and scan okay so there you go it's processing it's um, loading okay click next to begin printer setup then follow the step-by-step -step instructions to set up your Epson product so let's click next then confirm the ink is charged okay you are going to click this thing and then click next okay so here connecting your printer you need to attach the cord of the printer and make sure that your printer is on so that this illustration will be clicked into next okay so that would be the demonstration okay so guys nang sinabi ko kanina in order to proceed to the next you need to have the cord of the printer so ito siya cord to siya ng printer and then make sure na yung printer nyo is on okay so i ilalagay ko na siya sa sa hole ng laptop Okay, check. It's already checked, meaning to say it's functioning, it's working. Okay, so what are you going to do is have this print test page. So, kung gusto mong mag-print or you want to test the printer, you could you could have. So, later tayo mag-print. Okay, so after you read the printer setup or the print test page, you can proceed. Just click next okay, there you go then after that click finish but you need to read the info above your software installation and printer setup are complete okay meaning to say it was successfully installed so click finish okay, there you go then there is an Epson product registration. Okay, just don't mind with this. Just press the X button. Okay, then exit registration. If this will prompt or will come out in your screen, just have the exit res registration. Okay, and then go back to the desktop. Okay, so as you can see there, we have now the Epson L3110 user's guide here, and we have also the, wait, I'm going to refresh, we have the Epson L3110 user's guide, okay, so we have now the printer. Okay, so let's have a sample of printing. Maybe we can have printing so that um, we'll see if it is functioning. Okay, so let's have the Microsoft Word. 
let's open the Microsoft Word and then click this blank document okay so let's type there there you go a lot of letters different letters are being typed okay so na type na siya and then connected na yung ating uh, printer cord and naka on na yung epson l3110 na printer and then meron tayong scratch paper and we will see if it is functioning okay so uh, let's have the control P okay there you go as you can see the Epson L3110 series is already ready so let's print okay we'll see if these letters will come out as our outcome okay it's right and here is the proof all right so here's the proof okay so as you can see there you go so it is functioning and it is successfully installed so that is our alternative when we are going to download the printer properties and its utilities so, kung wala tayong CD room or yung laptop natin is walang CD room because of the enhancement of the technologies that we are buying, so we could have the internet when we are going to download the applications and its properties and its use. So, thank you for watching and I hope that you learn this tutorial that I had made. So, thank you again and don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell and like and share it to others to help. Thank you so much and once again, a blessed Sunday to all of you. Keep safe everyone. Bye guys. Bye everyone.